Well, <clears throat> we are kicking off. Hey. We're kicking off Summer Split right now. I'm joined right now by Captain Flowers with coverage brought to you by Alienware to talk about how things are shaping up. I keep saying things are shaping up at the start of my interviews. I really need to get out of that habit. I bet you you guys do the same thing on you get like into this thing where you just say the same phrase over and over again on the yeah. cast. You got to you got to look out for that. Everybody's got do we call them crutch words? Something yeah. that you would fall back on, like you always lean on that whenever you have nothing else to say. But yeah, that's one thing that you always look out and you try to tell your other casters, hey, I heard you say inevitably 40 times that cast. You got to phase that out. Use yeah. something else. Well, I have nobody to tell me that, unfortunately. Either way, so you are uh, back in action. Yeah, Wait, buddy. you're doing, I didn't hear you on the cast, so you're probably doing the second half today? Yeah, second half today. Me and Zale are going to be on the last two, and then we'll be on for last three tomorrow. Okay. So. Nice. Well, welcome back. Thanks, what Did you get a chance to do anything during the short break between MSI and uh, coming back? The short break between MSI and coming back, I just spent enjoying the fact that MSI was wrapped up. I had some time off. I very much spent it on my own, playing some video games, getting back into my regular gym schedule, like just you, enjoying the downtime. You ducked out of collegiate, yes? Uh, collegiate was not on, I was not on a call sheet for collegiate. That's not a Captain Flowers ducked out. That's more like I was not assigned. Okay. Because I know some casters ducked out. They're like, I, I need to fix my sleep schedule. I'm not going to lie. I was so thankful yeah, that yeah. I was able to fix my sleep schedule. Yeah. I was definitely not being like, oh, no, I need to be on every event possible. Right. Going the distance for MSI, like, it's a, it's a pretty long event. You definitely have to go backwards on the sleep schedule thing. It's difficult. So having the time to be able to recover from that and then get back in full form for this was really important. So, yeah, it's time now. Are you... Are you pumped though or is it or would you rather have had that extra week because normally it does start a little bit later i'm kind of like oh, i could have we could have started next weekend i love lcs <laughs> but it could have started next weekend I, I don't know how pumped you are no i'm pretty excited to have it starting back up especially because i think based on the results of msi for particularly north america and europe this should be the most exciting summer and the most exciting worlds ever like i've been a fan of league of legends since the game came out so much of the history of competitive League of Legends is, okay, Korea won, who's fighting for second? Like, there never was that feeling of North America or Europe or just, like, Western League of Legends in general was going to be close. And I feel like going into Worlds now, this is the first international tournament I can remember that actually mattered, not like some random tiny thing where people are sending, like, their eight teams or whatever. The first big international tournament where it's actually up in the air, and that's awesome to me. Well... I'm excited too. I mean, it is kind of funny. You go from MSI where it's like, blah, and then you come back to LCS and it's like, okay, we restart okay. and now we go back to Worlds. Like, go. it's it's pretty pumped to sort of, it's really cool to see the story begin again in its own way. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you, is there any new and exciting stuff happening for summer that you can think of? Anything that should be, I should be aware of? Now, see, the problem with these kinds of questions is I'm always told a lot of things that will be happening. Pro view. ProView, that's yeah, public. we've got ProView. ProView's public, so if you like ProView, if you like watching what the pros are doing, take a look at ProView. Anything else, I don't usually talk about stuff because I can't remember what we've gone public with and what we haven't. Well, so then, my general approach to not getting yelled at by people who would yell at me for this is to not comment. Okay. No comment, that's right. fine. Well, nothing interesting is happening, no comment. I uh, know. Uh, ProView. Yeah, talk, talk to me. Game. Well, talk to me about ProView. Does that, is, is there anything interesting for you guys? Do you guys get to go do VOD review? Uh, off of that or you know when you're prepping for certain things do you get to are you going to start using that as a tool in your toolkit it definitely seems like something that we can get a lot out of in terms of like especially when we're talking about players who this guy is really dominant in lane or watch out for this guy in the early game like he always seems to win his matchups or whatever now we can specifically go back and watch what he's looking at what he's clicking for and to me that means a lot because it's one thing to say yeah the dude wins but here's exactly how he wins. Notice this is what separates him apart. Like It's like when you watch a Faker stream and you see how often that he clicks and looks at everybody else and constantly keeps his eye over everything in the map. I think it could be a really cool tool. I, I mean, that's what I imagine is like for for not just content creators, but also for casters and analysts, it kind of changes the game. You you have so much more information coming out of these streams now. So uh, fascinating to see how that gets used this uh, year. There goes Steve. He's a proud winner. Were oh, you surprised yeah. at all that uh, TL beat TSM just now? I was not too surprised that they would be able to beat TSM. I honestly don't think I can be 
too surprised with week one, week two results as we start a new split, just because you never know how things are going, like if teams are going to try some really wacky stuff, what particularly is going to be happening. I know that I watched some of Academy earlier this week, and CLG was playing some really wacky, like, Corky Funnel Jungle Leona that doesn't have Smite, but it took Ignite and was level three. There was some really weird stuff in there. So beginning of the split, I say follow your heart, experiment, do whatever you want. Like anybody can beat anybody at the beginning of the split. I was surprised a bit to the degree at which Team Liquid did beat TSM. Not that they won, but just how hard they won. Like Team Liquid came back looking pretty ferocious. So that's a good sign. I mean, take down the world champions, come back in, smack the guys that you had to fight in the finals during spring. Yeah. That looks pretty good. I mean, I think TL should be very happy. I was just a little worried for the, the burnout. I interviewed Peter, and he was talking about yeah. they felt like it was it was pretty rough. But honestly, a lot of the teams have been scrimming for a while, and Cloud9 did their boot camp. So I'm sure everybody's, like, getting back into the swing of things after having a, a long practice. Yeah. Other than that, uh, anything else that you want to say to any of the fans out there? I think this is going to be, like I already said to Travis a moment ago, thanks to MSI and the results, I think this is probably one of the best times, if not the single best time in the history of this game, to be a fan of competitive League of Legends, to be a fan of the League of Legends esports scene. No matter which region you're representing, no matter which region you're a fan of, they all have the opportunity to pop off. Stay tuned, follow everything, be there for part of the ride, so that once we get to the apex of it here, in a few months and we get to Worlds, you can join everybody on that roller coaster of absolute fandom and fanaticism. See you all there. Gee, I feel like you had that rehearsed. That was like a script. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for the interview. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things esports right here on my YouTube channel. Check out all the good Travis stuff. Thanks so much for watching that interview. It is the start of Summer Split. How exciting, I know. Uh, I just want to thank Alienware for sponsoring my stuff. Hey, do me a favor and subscribe. Because not, not, not enough of you guys are subscribing lately. I'd like to see a little bit more subscriptions. Uh, while you're at it, also uh, check out the description, alienware.com slash Travis, Travis10 off. That's one zero off. You get some uh, money off of an amazing Alienware computer. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned throughout the rest of the split.